Why is technology in education such an issue? The answer is because it, technology, is everywhere. And technology is changing and affecting the way educators teach and the way students learn. Teenagers and young adults of 2013 can barely remember life without their laptops, cell phones, iPads, and other technological devices. But consider the infants, toddlers, and children of today. They will be known as true digital natives because they will grow up never knowing what life is like without the technologies we rely on today. Technology will be a permanent fixture in the lives of our future doctors, lawyers, and teachers. But before the younger generation reaches that point, they will first become students. Elementary school students, middle school students, high school, and then college students. We spend the majority of our lives learning. So should two huge parts of our lives, technology and education, coexist in the same environment? Because kids are being exposed to technology and screens at such a young age, Many educators argue that technology is necessary to keep students engaged. However, there are others who would argue that technology is nothing more than a distraction. And therein lies the argument. Is technology and education a necessity or a distraction? In an interview with Hayesville High School principal, Keith Knuckles, I asked him his opinion on the growing trend of technology in the classroom. Principal Knuckles responded by saying, we have no choice but to follow the direction of others in students' learning and instructional delivery. I can only assume that the direction of others is moving toward technology. It sounds to me that Principal Knuckles sees technology as a classroom necessity. In a different interview with John Henson, a technology professor in the Reich College of Education here at App State, I asked him to list some positives of the increase of technology in education, and Henson replied by saying that with the increase of technology, there has also been an increase in student engagement. So if educators have no choice but to implement technology and it increases student engagement, then what is all the fuss about? It seems to me that technology is needed in education, and even more than that, it seems like technology is an asset to learning right? Maybe it's not so simple. Clifford Nass, a professor from Stanford University, was featured on the PBS Frontline documentary, Digital Nation. In the documentary, Nass says, it turns out multitaskers are terrible at every aspect of multitasking. They get distracted constantly. Their memory is very disorganized. So what does this mean for education? When kids come to class, they bring in their personal devices such as cell phones and laptops. These devices lead to texting in class and getting on social media sites. The students think they are multitasking, but in reality, they are distracting themselves from their education. In his interview, Principal Knuckles also says that individual use, misuse, and damages to devices are all distractions educators will have to deal with. Looking beyond these specific distractions, Professor Henson and I discussed distraction at a deeper level. Together we agreed that with the world's slight obsession with technology, educators run the risk of becoming submerged by technology and devices. As a result, we lose the betterment of education. It is true that there are many teachers today who do not know how to navigate new technologies. But this problem can quickly be fixed with willingness, cooperation, and training. It is a common misconception that older teachers are resistant to technology. Although hesitant, older teachers are beginning to embrace technology as it provides new and innovative ways for them to educate. Older teachers are able to provide a deeper learning experience for their students, but their technological skills are not as sharp as newer teachers. However, newer teachers lack the pedagogy of their elders. For the ultimate learning experience, teachers must work together to incorporate technology and a strong pedagogy into their students' education. The strength that technology gives education makes me believe that technology is more necessary in the classroom than it is a distraction. Students today, and especially students in the future, are and will be enveloped by their devices. 
so I think that their education must be just as engaging and interesting as their phones and laptops. My question is, how can I, a future educator, be sure to engage future students? Education is meant to prepare students for the world that waits for them, and technology is a big part of that world now more than ever. I must use technology to my advantage, however, I cannot become lost in all the technicalities and lose the true meaning of education. Like all things in the world, technology has its drawbacks and negatives, but it can offer so much to teachers and students if implemented properly.